Hi, I'm Jim Holberg, and welcome to another edition of Collection Reflection. I am standing here, kind of really below, beneath, one of my favorite portraits in our collection. This is the portrait of Robert and Julia Pickett Horde, painted about 1835 by Patrick Henry Davenport. Uh, Davenport has a very distinctive style, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the Hordes uh, were natives of Kentucky. He was born in 1801, she was born about 1810. They married in 1825. Uh, she was only 15 years old, which really wasn't all that unusual then. They were cousins and uh, moved from east, uh, northeastern Kentucky, Greenup County, Bracken County area, to Jefferson County. And Horde bought land and became a successful farmer and stock raiser, and we think perhaps a distiller in Middletown, Kentucky, just there on the, in the eastern end of, of Jefferson County. Uh, they had at least five children. She died rather young. She's dead 1842, 1845. We've had conflicting dates on that. And he dies from injuries received in a runaway carriage accident in 1848. Uh, he built, actually just after her death, apparently, but in 1843, he built a very fine house out in Middletown that still stands, uh, the Hoard House. So, uh, so this portrait, which came to us some years ago, hung in that house for many years. One of the things that I really like about this portrait is that it's a double portrait, and that's very rare. You just didn't see that. With the rate of mortality, uh, where one spouse would predecease the other and get remarried. Uh, your, your successor didn't necessarily want their predecessor hanging on the wall. Uh, and it was also more expensive to do a double portrait like this. Uh, and so these are very rare, and it's, it's an example of one of the few double portraits that we have in our collection. Now, some wag on a tour one day when I was, was talking about this, they noted that, well, you know, there is a gap between them, and maybe they could just cut it in half if need be. Uh, maybe that's true, maybe not. Uh, they could do some pretty creative things, but uh, it's a wonderful double portrait, and I think shows their devotion to each other. Uh, they have been married about 10 years now, had a number of kids. You can tell that she is still quite young, and uh, Davenport has uh, certainly made her look that way, but. If she's born about 1810, she's only about 25 years old when this is painted, and the, the years of hard work and childbearing haven't, haven't worn her down yet. Uh, Patrick Henry Davenport was a native Kentuckian. He was born in 1803. He, uh, he lived until 1890, so he had a good long life. He ended up living in Illinois as a farmer. Uh, but early in life, he took to art. And it is believed that he had some training under both Jewett and Oliver Frazier, one of the other great triumphant painters of Kentucky's antebellum period, along with, of course, Jewett and Joseph Bush, whom we've already talked about in earlier editions of, of Reflection. And uh, he, uh, one of his hallmarks uh, in his 1820s, 1830s, which is really his most productive period, uh, before he buys a resort, the Orchard, uh, Crab Orchard Springs Resort in, uh, in Lincoln County in 1839 and becomes a resort operator. And then in 1853, he sells it and moves to Illinois and buys a farm there and essentially is a farmer for the rest of his life. He does a little painting after that. There are some examples of his work, but really the 1820s and especially the 1830s is where here in Kentucky we really see the most examples of his work. And Davenport is very distinctive for often, uh, you know, some people look at it and say, well, it's really kind of a semi-primitive. He is not as sophisticated as Jewett or Frazier or Bush, but I think they're just, just darling and, uh, and, and very, very nicely composed for what they are. I mean, you can see her with the very, uh, extravagant lace work, and one of the hallmarks 
of a Davenport woman is the hairdo. Uh, it's usually very elaborate and with a tortoiseshell comb in it. And so you can see that. And so upon first glance right away, it's like, oh, well, that's a Davenport. And so I think uh, he's one of my favorite artists and, and we have others, in fact, in a future edition, uh, we'll be looking at another Davenport that's one of my favorites in the collection. So uh, the Hoards, Robert and Julia Pickett Hoard of Middletown, Kentucky, and one of our rare, wonderful double portraits. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Collection Reflection, and we hope you'll join us again.